So the Queen Space Engineering team is built on students who have a great interest in the space industry, who are looking to expand their hands-on experience. It's made up of three technical sub-teams, the mechanical, electrical, and science team, and two logistical teams, PR and sponsorship. The mechanical sub-team focuses on the chassis, drivetrain, and end effectors of the rover, while the electrical team focuses on printed circuit boards, electrical control systems, and communication systems. So Will, tell me what's in front of me. Uh, so right here we have the Queen Space Engineering team's uh, rover for the 2016 competition year. Uh, each year we build a brand new rover. Um, we do have some designs that we iterate year over year, but we like to start brand new um, for the most part so that all the new members can have this experience of going from the design stage right to the building stage and on to competition. This year's rover is specifically for URC, the University Rover Challenge, and ERC, the European Rover Challenge, and it is to prototype of rover going to the Mars surface and preparing it for human life. Tell me everything that it should be able to do uh, if it was to be on Mars surface. Uh, so starting with the science uh, components of the rover, it, it can handle wind speed, wind direction, measure temperature uh, and humidity both of the soil and the air. Um, this is done through various sensors hooked up through a Raspberry Pi as well as um, some soil probes that we were able to pick up. And, and it can collect samples in about 25 gram sizes and it can hold six samples at a time. And those are to take back to like a base station for an astronaut to test firsthand. Some of its other capabilities, it can go up a slope close to 60 degrees on relatively solid soil ground. It can go off about a one meter drop and stay stable. It's also able to uh, pick up its GPS location and uh, actually the direction it's facing with relative to true north. So that's good for when we lose line of sight, because at least um, for our competition purposes and for if you are on Mars, 80% of the tasks are with line of sight, which means about 20% of them we won't have line of sight of the rover, so we're relying on its GPS and on our um, radio frequencies to pick it up. So this year at QSED uh, has been a drastically different year for us. Uh, based on the amount of experience that we've gained over the last 10 years as a design team, and also because we've had a lot of returning members um, this year and compared to previous years that have had experience in competitions such as URC in the past two years and Ludobotics uh, three years ago. Uh, it's been really beneficial to have these returning and upper year members pass on knowledge to some of the second and third year members that have joined the team as well as having a large number of first year engineers join.